My name is Amy if you're new here and I am faceless today because today we're just gonna do a overview of the new Chanel 2021 collection. It is indeed their pre-spring summer collection also known as 21P. If you follow my channel and if you watch my live show that I host with Kat, you would know that we have a different luxury mindset this year and I want to look at these items from that new mindset so from that point of view rainbow hardware I think it's cute they made it in lambskin and also they lined the interior in a different color a bit more different than their usual classic flap like I said I don't hate it I don't love it either. It's not my cup of tea. It's a little trendy, but if it's yours, if it's your style, then go right ahead because minis are always a good idea. If we were to look at this one, which is uh, their seasonal one, they have this different chain. I actually much prefer their usual classic chain. Tweed is becoming so popular, or I guess it's always been popular, but some patterns are definitely more popular than others, such as the hound's tooth. But this one looks really cute too. If you're into blue, this is a cute little bag. This purple one is also really cute. I, um, I really like it actually. It's very pretty. So I approve, but only if it's your cup of tea, meaning if it's your color. Um, I tend to stick with black and whites just because they look the most classic. The Coco Handles, the extra mini size is a new offering. I personally don't like it, not just because this one is very colorful. I just think that this size is very impractical and the fact that it doesn't fit a large size phone, the max size phone, it just is too expensive for me to not be able to fit my phone. Sometimes I'm okay with a novelty size bag that doesn't fit a phone, but not at this price range. So I personally would skip it. We're seeing some sequins, and this is one of their new patterns for this collection. It looks like waves um, and the CC logo kind of hidden in there. I'm just gonna skip those. Uh, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just feel like it looks a little strange. Maybe I just don't like it in a bag. Uh, on a scarf, I would like it. I won't mind it as much. But on a bag, I'm not a crazy fan of it. So no, thank you. Moving right along, like I said, they have this raw film material on a lot of their different um, other accessories that we're gonna see. So because it is a spring summer collection, of course, these kinds of materials are more popular, but I don't think it's worth it. Even though this is their, you know, very iconic mini shape, which is also my favorite. Uh, I don't know. I, I just don't like raffia. I feel like raffia has its place, but I don't like spending $5,000 on them because this price after tax is pretty much $5,000. So I say skip. So to recap, my personal rules for 2021 is that they either have to look like a classic. So these look like a classic. They are seasonal, but they are looking like a classic. Number two is that it would have to be a style that is very practical that um, I could use almost like as an everyday bag such as my Chanel 19 which I'm a big fan of so that's my rule number two my rule number three whatever I add to my collection I really want to just stick to things that I need right away meaning that if I buy it I cannot wait to use it uh, because to buy something that I might need later is just not a priority in 2021 so anyway let's get back to these bags this one is so cute maybe because it's a classic black color. I don't love the chain, but I'm just saying that it looks super cute. I do prefer the chain with the leather woven into it. I think it's just more comfortable. It makes less noise when you wear it, and it's just more comfortable, actually. Taking a closer look at these perforated bags, I think they look amazing from the point of view of fashion. If... I was some sort of high fashion blogger, 
maybe like maybe if Chanel lends it to me but I will never spend that kind of money on something like this I'm not that adventurous and um, yeah my collection is a lot more boring in a sense so no thank you but it's cool it's very cool Chanel 19 love this size this is the small also referred as the medium with the Chanel 19 I get tons of questions about whether it's worth it whether that would be a great first time handbag from Chanel I personally think so because like I said earlier the Chanel 19 for me feels a lot like an everyday bag you just have to try it to know it it just is so easy it fits a lot and it's a very casual style that you can wear on almost on daily basis uh, so it's it's so great it's so functional which is why I'm a big fan of it. The key though is to find the best combination for you. So tweed materials, they are fun. It does have the advantage of a top handle, which really does help with wear and tear because I love to carry this bag by the top handle instead of crossbody, which avoids a lot of the rubbing back and forth on the bag. Um, but yeah, when it comes to choosing, the material i go for leather and i'm a big fan of the black one it's just the most classic looking one it looks great uh, but they also have this version now uh this beautiful caramel color which is all the rage this season i totally recommend this color if you don't want a black and you're afraid of a white this color is so cute it takes a lot from me to resist buying a duplicate to be honest so um yeah uh, this blue color is also really really beautiful i'm just not a blue person but i think it's very pretty it looks great on the chanel 19. this tweed looks very cozy the colors are fun i mean if you're into a tweed and a hound's tooth and you love colors I think it, it pretty much has, has it all for you here on this one. I'm not even going to look at the classic flaps because this price is insane. Moving right along to the shopping tote that I said earlier looks amazing. This leather just looks so yummy to me. It reminds me a lot of the leather that is on my bucket bag for some reason. I know it's not super structured, but it just looks very vintage but also modern at the same time i don't even know how to explain it it just looks great i love that it's not as boxy as the grand shopping tote iridescent calfskin not my cup of tea because they look too trendy it's a pass for me then i don't have anything against the doe veil i like the shape i think it's a bit overwhelming on me which is why i no longer have mine but I do have a problem with the price of the Deauville nowadays. It's just gone up. It's too crazy, which is why I am also skipping them. And plus, they just overwhelm my body frame and they are heavy. Now, the Kogo handles are so popular, still going super strong. This is my favorite size. This is the old mini size or I guess now they call it the small size. I feel like this is the perfect size because... Not only does it fit a Max phone super comfortably, but it actually fits quite a bit more than the Rectangle Mini as well. And it's super cute. It's just one of those classic silhouette. Even though it is a seasonal bag, it just looks super classic. The thing about the Coco handle is that it doesn't matter what color. It always looks amazing, especially in this new caramel color. It's stunning. This is definitely one of my personal pick. I won't buy it myself right now just because i already have three but um i'm just saying that if you do like the coco handle i do recommend it i do like mine it's not an everyday bag for me maybe if it's in this size this medium size but um i do highly recommend the coco handle it's one of my favorite shapes this little drawstring is so cute it reminds me a little bit of the business affinity to a certain extent it has that kind of front pocket um so yeah i think it's super cute it's a little bit on the smaller side mini bags are still super popular definitely approved and i also approve the 
business affinity flap. I don't own one because every time I'm about to buy one, I always find a flaw in the construction. I just don't find them super well made. I think I see more issues with the business affinity, plus they don't really stand on their own. It's kind of funny because they do have feet, which is strange that they can't stand on their own. There's just a balance issue, I think. But I have to say this color is just stunning. So um, if you love it and if you see it in person and you try it on and it looks great and everything looks like it's working properly, I do recommend it. I think it's approved. I approve it. <laughs> I love the Business Affinity, especially in this beautiful color. I think it also comes in this white color caviar in the Business Affinity as well. So something to consider of all the current bags um, that are available, the Business Affinity is still in a price range that is quote unquote reasonable. Um, the Cocoa Handle is still quote unquote reasonable. Their seasonal bucket bags are also reasonable. And I would say that the minis are still reasonable just because of how timeless and how easy it is to just dress it up or dress it down. They're super versatile. They are more expensive than in the past, but that is the reality. I mean, if you want a mini and you like this one, go for it. I love this gold color. This is in metallic lambskin. At the end of the day, it is a lighter color. It is a lambskin and it is metallic. So you will have to baby it. There are bags that you buy because you love and there are bags that you buy because you wear them. Personally, for my own collection, I'm not going to buy any more because I already have too many duplicates, but I am super attracted and I think that these two are approved in my books. So let's move right along to costume jewelry. If you follow my channel, you know that I love Chanel costume jewelry. I have been really noticing in the past year or so that their prices have skyrocketed. I don't really know why I am having this obsession with a shorter heart pendant. I just think that it's stunning, but this price s scares me. So I'm going to say it's not approved, but I really actually really like it. I just see myself with this necklace in a lot of my outfits for some reason. I'm going to skip over the brooches. I love brooches. I have a few myself, but I am definitely more of an earring person. Uh, if you guys follow me, you know that about me, I'm sure. I also own one Chanel pearl bracelet that I wear constantly. That one is something that I will always repurchase. As you can see, I'm just moving right along because everything uh, price-wise just looks a little insane to me. These ones, however, I think they are super popular on Instagram. I am super attracted to them. I was shocked at the price. A few collections ago, there was one that was similar size to this with a pearl button and I couldn't get my hands on because they were never... Um, they were never ordered in our store, so uh, that one was way more affordable, but I love the shape, so I might still consider it because it's so pretty. I really just like all the details on this one. I'm super attracted to these kind of large size hearts, like I said earlier. Something irrational, I'm not even sure why. I just really like it. I just really picture myself wearing these with like a very simple white t-shirt type of situation and jeans, but they are $2,000, so no thanks. These earrings kind of remind me a little bit of the ones that I was referring to earlier. Not quite the same, but um, that's the thing though. The price skyrocketed and it breaks my heart that we didn't have those ones that I wanted. These ones are cool. Um, they are clip-ons. I know some people are into clip-ons and some are not. I think if they fit properly, they would be pretty cool ear crawlers. These pins are super popular. They are all over social media. I think for me, I am kind of done with brooches and pins because like I said earlier, I just gravitate towards my earrings more. Anklets, they now have not a fan. I don't really care that my feet are not jeweled. And uh, this one is also a popular one that we see often online. I think it's pretty. It looks like a classic, but with kind of a modern twist. I like the intricacies and the layered chains. 
I think it's pretty and the price is okay for this one. So I do approve. This one, you would think that the price is okay, which it is for a very long necklace, but it's also a very simple, very sort of boyish style. So if it's your cup of tea, then go right along. It's just not mine. I think the collection overall looks amazing. I mean, look at this girl with her big heart pendant. It just for some reason, I'm just super attracted to it, but because of the price, I'm going to stop myself there. I'm going to not go there. Uh, but aside from that, there is, you know, a couple of pair of earrings that I, I might be interested. I might pick it up if it's available. A small leather goods section, they have some very interesting, colorful things. Like I said, they have this material in a lot of their vanity specific accessories are back airpod cases they now also have uh, sunglasses cases so let's decipher some of these things no airpod cases for me no they are not worth it too expensive for what it is it only holds one item no phone cases never with technology will i ever mix with luxury it's not worth it in my opinion so no to me this vanity on chain, um, I think a lot of people would think that it's worth it because the price is super reasonable. I actually really like this shape. I would buy this, except not in this material. I feel like this material is too seasonal. It's definitely very summery, springy sort of feel. And I feel like because it looks kind of trendy as well, it's not going to last. So yes, the price is great under 2000 wow hello but it's not a piece that's gonna last therefore i personally don't approve uh but that's just me like i said you do you at the end of the day we all have different preferences uh no to these kinds of belt bags especially not in this material and print no thank you uh, i'm a big fan of my round case but honestly you only really need one so just, you know, if you like some of these novelty things, pick one. Pick one that works for you. Small vanity, two-thirds of the size of the one previously, is just not worth it for me. I really think that they're irresistible because of the more affordable price range, but they're not functional and that breaks the rule of not being practical. This vanity case is also pretty popular. They also have a leather version of this. Look. If you like the shape and you really want this, get the leather version, don't get this. But I do caution the zipper. I I really personally dislike zip around things. It drives me crazy. I think some zipper around things are acceptable. So try it out. If you really, really like it, then go ahead. Um, but if you want a phone holder, why not get the one with the flap version, similar to the one that I bought recently. Card holders with a lanyard, no thank you. AirPod cases, no thank you. More pouches, no thank you. The card holder, they're always a staple in my handbag. But I own three card holders, I only use one, so you really don't need the extra. The phone case. Now, this looks like the one that I have, but it's very different because this one actually is quite thin. Plus, this one is just, you know, another trendy version of it. it this has this detachable AirPod thing. <laughs> it's just too much and it's too expensive. No, do not get it. Wallets on chains, I was never a fan of. Therefore, I'm going to say no for myself. Let's take a look at this bag. Because I think I saw a similar one in a different uh, color and someone was asking me about it. It's cute. It's just their timeless logo with a little bit of a updated curve here. Or maybe it's just seasonal. It's cute, but again, it's a walk. It's not my cup of tea. It doesn't serve me. So I'm not going to go there. Okay, this is the leather version. Now, if you like this one, get the leather version. It just is so much better. It's going to wear better. It's going to look more classic. They have some fun colors. If you're color adverse, just go with black. But then again, these ones are a little thinner than the version that I have. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just search Fashionably Amy Chanel phone holder. You'll find it on YouTube. Moving on to the glass case with chain. Oh my goodness. It is so cute. 
It fits your glasses. If you have a small phone, it will fit. But other than that, it doesn't really fit very much. I mean, it will fit a lot of small things. It's very enticing. It's a great price. You get a little bit of CC and a chain and a caviar and all that. Even though I am someone who loves a novelty item, do not buy this. I don't think it's worth it. I know a lot of us will self-justify that you can put your cards in there. You can put, you know, your, your phone in there. If you have a small size phone, yes. And yes, if that's what you want to do and you absolutely believe in that, fine, go ahead. But I'm just saying from experience <laughs> that if I bought this, I know I would regret it next season. Simply because this shape is not practical for those things. It really is meant for glasses and it is still a lot of money. At the end of the day, every little exception adds up. So... I say don't go for it. But if you already got it and if you love it or if you're thinking of getting it, let me know. Uh, let me know why you want to get it because, I mean, I know it's cute. I think if I had it, I would really just use it for sunglasses because that's perfect for it. Small leather goods are a dangerous place because they are price lower because they are only a small leather goods. But because of that, it makes it easier to justify the purchase. And that makes it very dangerous if you're buying too many of these novelty specialty items. So just be a bit careful. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm just here to share what I think. Uh, it doesn't really matter in the end if it applies to you or not. So shoes wise, I am not really seeing anything that really catches my eye, but... These slingbacks I always loved, but they never fit me, so... I mean, I do like this pair of sandals. Uh, they also have it in different colors. I do like it a lot. Actually, this, this, will, this will fit me because I have that longer toe, which won't be a problem in the sandal. And these are pretty kind of easy to slip on, which I totally need. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these are pretty... These are really, really pretty, actually. I might just have to check them out. And I love the different colors that it comes in as well. The gold and the, and the white. I'm not as big of a shoe person. I'm sure you guys know that already. So that's why my commenting on the shoes is less constructive. This pair is probably going to be popular because of the pearls. It really just depends on the shape of your feet and the arch and everything of your feet. We're not all made equal, unfortunately. <laughs> these are very funky. I will never buy these. But wow, they are very funky. Not my cup of tea for sure. So no thank you. Oh, these sneakers are cute, actually. I've kind of become a big fan of Chanel scarves. Maybe because they have some really pretty colors and really cute motifs. And like I said earlier, this motif is, it looks nice on a scarf. I wouldn't necessarily like it in a bag, but in a scarf, I think it looks nice. They also have the stole version in their cashmere. This one looks like a great classic, especially if you like a simple black and white. And it has CCs on all four corners. So no matter what, what way you fold it, you're going to see a bit of the logo, which is really really cute they have those small logos too so good this is such a good one like they have the same thing in their stole version i'm actually a little bit biased with twillies i don't think they are a great investment i think if you need it then sure get one uh you know to go to wrap around your bag or whatever but are you really going to wear your toolies around your neck or as a hair tie and all those things? I know you can, but are you really going to do it? Because I'm too lazy to do it. I don't spend money on toolies because of that reason. But if I did have a bag that I'm very precious about and I really want to use it but protect the handles, then sure, I will buy the toolies. Uh, I might as well buy a pattern that you love, right? So, yeah. Okay, we already saw this. This pattern is so cute though. That's the thing. Sometimes they just get you with the patterns because it's so cute. Look at all the CC, colorful CCs and the hearts. It's just so cute. If you have to wrap your bags, get one of these. <laughs> They're so cute. The scarves this season are quite stunning. 
I, I really like it. This one looks like you're wrapping yourself in a ribbon, in Chanel ribbons. The motifs this season are just great. This one is a little bit bigger than their twillies. So if you look at the dimensions, it's quite long, 160 centimeters, and it's quite wide, 15 centimeters. It almost looks like a lavalier. My lavalier is still much larger than this and much longer than this. I think it's pretty cute. But yeah, don't go overboard with these things because they can quickly, so quickly add up. Let's take a look at the headwear because I've been noticing uh, how amazingly popular they were. This cap looks amazing. I love it. I don't like these hats. I mean, I will wear them because I want sun protection, but only if I'm not trying to be fashionable. I'd rather wear a cap like this, and I know that this one has been super popular. It comes in a few different colors, I think in pink, blue, green. There's a black and white, which would be the one that I would choose because it would be more neutral. Hair clips, they are stunning. And if there's one that you love, then get it. Um, I actually really do like this Coco one. It's really cute. But as with a lot of the smaller price items, they do add up and they, they become super addictive. So just be a bit careful with them. Um, because, you know, every few hundred and some of them are like in the thousands, it, it can get quite crazy. So I bought one myself and... Uh, I was just not reaching for it that much because I kind of have thinner hair too. Taking a look at the belts very quickly because I've also become a big fan of their belts. This one looks like a great jeans one. Yeah, I think I like this one the most. I mean, pendingly trying it on sometimes with the logo ones, they can overwhelm me and I have been liking the more discreet ones lately. Uh, this one is not really discreet, but there's something about this one and how comfortable it is because it's elasticated and so easy and so light that I, I actually really did like it. Uh, I own this one, by the way. Actually, this one that she's wearing is cute. It's this one right here, but you can get tired of the charm here, which is why I feel like this one is still a bit safer for everyday wear. Um, so yeah, that's just my two cents. The ready to wear, just to get a general feel. This pattern in their dress is cute, actually but it does look a bit dizzying. <laughs> so I still prefer it on a scarf, but it does look better on a dress than on a bag, in my opinion. This shirt is super popular and I guess it's kind of well-priced for a Chanel piece because it's a cashmere, a very, very hot item for sure. So if you're into ready to wear, I say, you know, this is a good option. It's also casual enough that you can wear all year round. It also comes in this burgundy color. I personally really like the houndstooth. I think it's stunning. It's stunning as an outfit. I'm not saying that I will buy it. I don't necessarily mind the colorful houndstooth. I'm just not sure if I love it. Uh, but just the overall ensemble looks very appealing to me. I also really like this cardigan. So this little jacket here is is actually a cardigan and it's pretty well priced considering. I mean, it is a cardigan texture, which means that it's not a structured, I really am into it. Maybe not in green. I don't look great in green, but I like this jacket. I'm attracted to this one too. I really like a nice um, blazer dress love the all the buttons it's really cool i also like this cashmere sweater it's super cute i think it's gonna be also a super popular one i like the shape and silhouette of this i feel like it's just such a staple piece i just wish that maybe it was buttoned down or just like decorated with buttons down maybe and I guess the last piece that i'm gonna comment on is this dress love the cc on the straps it gives me nice summer vibes. I love dresses and this one just, you know, gives me like vacation vibe. Uh, it's very simple. It's ready to wear. It's pricey, but it's just such an elegant way of dressing down. Those would be my pick for the spring summer ready to wear based off of the website. How are you guys liking the collection so far? I just like picking and choosing the things that 
suit me that adds to my wardrobe uh, which is what fashion is all about right it's about expressing how you uh, like to portray your style let me know what are some of your favorite pieces let me know if you're eyeing anything um, that you are wanting to buy let me know if you are buying any of the bags um, I would love to live vicariously through you because I don't think I'm buying any bags this season but that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and if you're new here I would love to have you back so please don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys again very soon